Today we found out we have a new visitor in town. Uh, I looked over here. I seen it first in the shelves over here. I don't know if you can see that. That's what's left of it. A little rat turd, a uh, mouse turd. And then the other day Rose discovered some more over here. Up against the wall or something. I don't know if you can see or not. So now we're going to plan B. We got the decon mouse traps. And we got the Tomcat glue traps. And the arch enemy of the mouse is, as we know, peanut butter. Tonight we're going to booby trap the house. It's going to be like the front lines in Vietnam. We're going to call this place a Little Saigon. We got another trap right here. And then we're going to place these other traps and see what we can catch. That's what she said. That doesn't look right at all. But she's gonna have to do. As long as the mouse goes in there and gets caught, I don't care what it looks like. This is gonna take teamwork. See the peanut butter? Yummy. Honey, you want to lick it? You try it first. Mm. Alright, traps are all baited. Let's go ahead and put them somewhere. Here's a nice place. <clears throat> right there by the dog food. So maybe the mouse will come over there when he's thirsty. And get himself some of that. Go ahead and put the other one somewhere. Hmm. Maybe right here by the dishwasher. Right there. Awesome sauce. Let's we'll see what happens. These are the decon mouse traps. You put the bait inside and then you twist them. And then they got a little opening right here. I don't know if you can see the opening right there and when they go inside it spins and kapow i don't know if it cuts them in half like a samurai sword or if it catches them and then you gotta release it but i was thinking if it does catch them we could maybe save it and then go play some ice hockey with it you know use it as a puck that'd be kind of fun just kidding i would never do that i would never use an animal as a puck maybe you gotta be shitting me we we'll put the trap up here, and it's down here on the ground, and you can see there's poop in there, and a little fur, and there's a pan on the ground. I guess he knocked the pan down, struggling on the way down. This guy is tough. It's day two of mouse hunt. This trap is still open, has not been near it or in it. Got a trap up here on the counter. Peanut butter is in place. No activity. This trap has been sprung. Could have been the dog. Could have been the mouse. Who knows. Small baby earthquake. You get the point. This trap right here still has hair and poop in it. And I don't think he's been back. So 
He's an elusive bastard. He must die because I don't want to live with him. He doesn't pay rent. Day three, the mouse has not been near the trap. All the traps are still secure. This one's open, I don't know if something came about or it just opened up. But all the traps are not sprung. So he's either hiding or not coming out. Or he's found another food source for now. Isn't that right, Suki? Right? Right. Once again, this little Bama has not come out and not grabbed the food. So, we went from these kind of traps, which he didn't use, to these kind of traps that he did use and got away with, got out of one, and he hasn't been back to it since. So I guess he learned his lesson. Now it comes down to this trap. We're gonna set this baby up tonight with a little peanut butter in there. And we're gonna set a little hair trigger for him. And then hopefully we'll wake up tomorrow morning and have a mouse. Here's the new trap. It's got peanut butter inside. We're gonna leave it here tonight and see if we catch something tomorrow. It's day four. Still no mouse. This guy is like the MacGyver of mice. Nothing. This dude's like Rambo. We just can't catch him. This is four days now. Uh, we gotta keep trying. Day five. Some good news. Finally. Finally. We got him. We got that son of a bitch. See him? Right there. We got his ass. It took a while. This is the fifth day. That little bastard. That little precious angel of a mouse was just terrorizing the shit out of our family. But we finally got him. We finally got him. We finally got him. And as it says right there, victory. Now it's time to give this one of God's creatures a proper burial. I don't want to touch it. I don't know what he's got. Let's give him a proper burial. And that's what he gets. He was such a good good guy. He's gonna be missed. I salute him. <laughs>